Hi, I'm using a dynamic uh, 128 uh, gigabyte image, which is the is a Pi 4. Uh, it have dual screen on top as well. But right now, I'm trying to fix this. Uh, I know, but uh, in, in animation animation station mode, it doesn't see the the video or the graphic. But if you got this is now in track mode, but the track mode only see 25 game. So if I move it, you can see it's number is changing, but it's only 25. So I have a couple of games like that, like uh, Mega Drive, Game Boy Advance, and PC, uh, PC and PC CD. They both have the same problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix that one by pressing uh, uh, yeah no nope. by pressing the I got my setup to uh, I don't you need to press the keyboard tab I just press the star and select X star and X to get this menu so to fix that I just go to animation and I look for uh, I'm in PC engine, so I'm looking for NEC. It's gonna be in NEC. And then you look for PC engine. Okay. When you're in the track mode, this flick is normal, so you don't have to worry about it. So all this is in correct place. PC engine. Uh, the only thing is the the game list is not correct. So this is the way to do it with track mode. That's why I like about track mode. It's easy to create your game list. So I just click here and I say yes. I want to replace it and that's it. And you could do the artwork if you want. But I don't think that thing that this thing works. Well, previous old, old version doesn't work, but I don't know if this actually work. It doesn't look like it's working, it's sitting at 0%. Okay, let's see what happens. I wonder if, if I could get out. I press B, but it tell me to wait. Okay. I don't know, I don't think it will. All right, so I'm gonna get out of here. And now I have 298 games. You saw that, the big difference? Now I have 200. So let's go to 25 and see if I still have graphic. Because the maximum was 25. See, and I still have graphic. Because I moved the graphic over, but you just don't see it. Now if I go back to, and emulation station I will see all this plus the graphic too so because the game list is being changed based on what I have physically on the SD card I put this on the 512 gigabyte SD card because uh, I got a lot of stuff that I want to put in now I tried the hard drive uh, the hard drive does do not work I tried to burn this image on the 2 terabyte hard drive and then I boot it up from a SD card and then I take the SD card out like I did with the virtual man's image uh, it doesn't work uh, it doesn't support the terabyte on this image so just FYI if you guys are want to plan on doing it because I already did it and uh, where's my hard drive I bought this new hard drive and I plug it in without the SD card it doesn't see it and then I put the SD card boot up and then when I take the SD card out I boot up again it doesn't see it so it doesn't work with the two terabyte so I didn't put a whole lot I only put the stuff that I really like like Turbo PC engine and Turbo CD because in virtual mem virtual virtual man he uh, he he blocked it where you cannot put uh, the PC engine and I mean Turbo graphics Turbo Graphics 16 with the PC Engine. He he merged the name together so you cannot separate them because they are not the same game. But apparently, uh, Virtual Man thought it's the same game. 
unless you own the system you know about PC engine the NEC company you don't know that some people that the younger generation doesn't even know what is a NEC topographic so they they don't understand that so they think that uh, you know you don't really that you don't really have that much game they are the same exact game it, it's co it's true for Mega Drive and Sega Genesis but not for NEC topographic and it might be true also for Super Nintendo because they they bring all their Japanese game to America so they both have uh, same game different title but topographic never bring not never but they only bring like a couple of them over they didn't bring a whole library over so this showing you all my graphics is good now so I'm good I'm happy all right let's go check another one let's do let's go do Mega Drive let's go back to console this is a PC Engine CD I think I have the same problem here too this one only show 105 PC Engine CD so it's only going to show 105 let me make sure that's correct uh, that's not what I want 105 okay it's 105 game there so we're gonna go to NEC and we're gonna do the, the CD you're gonna generate the collection one yes okay X is out now it's a 393 so there are 393 game here where Turbo 16 don't have that much uh, game uh, transfer over so we're gonna go up to see 393 this is all the one that I have created for the gra for the wheel and the, the video so this is all the PC engine CD they have 393 game that was from Japan and let's go to the console again and let's look at Turbo 16 Turbo 16 is 94, that's correct. Turbo CD, those that don't have, don't have any problem, they are correct. Turbo CD is only 44. See, that's why they shouldn't be mixed together because American doesn't have that much CD exported into, into USA. So that's why they need to be separated. PC Engine have 393 game and Turbo 16 CD only have 44 games so how can you combine them and, and tell people they're the same they're not they're not the same okay all right and let's let's see what's another one I need to fix I need to fix Mega Drive Mega Drive and Game Boy Advance I need to import a lot of game over because uh, the CD take a lot of space and I only have 512 gigabytes so I didn't I don't know this is the one this is a uh, Sega Genesis 726 so let's let's go ahead and do it see what happened seven hundred twenty six probably start with an S because it's Sega we're so going by the company name first so company name is Sega and it's uh, Sega Genesis yes generate the artwork not artwork generate the game list now there's more game there so it take a little bit longer so we're doing the it should be A08 on the Sega Genesis I'm not sure well, it's taking longer than the other one. So he's doing Sega Genesis and then... I don't know, do I need to do anything on Mega Drive? Because I, I think I only did Sega Genesis. But I need to do the Game Boy.
Yeah, Game Boy Advance. I think that's the last one I need to do. So the background is doing something. So you generate the game list. Some reason this one is taking longer. I don't understand. So once the game list is done, I'm not sure I need to do Super Nintendo. All right, but I think you guys got the point. This one is gonna take longer, but it's gonna come back with a different number. Well, go with 726. So it's probably gonna go up to 800 because I, I, I believe I put 800 game in here on Sega Genesis. So, yeah, I'm trying to get this. I like the image, I like the dynamic door, but it just, it doesn't have that much game. There's only like roughly 25 game per each console. Uh, but I do like the 64 gig. If you, if you should go ahead and get the 64 and combine the 64 with 128, because 64 uh, gigabyte have like 2,040, 40 some game, 2,400 maybe. So there's a lot of game on that one, and they even got the go, uh, Golden Axe door working. I went and overclocked this by manually go in and edit the file and over put in the parameter to overclock it. So I use the the overclock information from the from the one I generate from uh, virtual man image. Cause virtual man uh, the it have the extra utility that this one that do not have. So it only might generate the uh, so I think, I don't know, I don't remember what I said. I don't think it went up that much. It's only 726 game. But all the graphics is there. As long as you put all the graphics in the, the wheel and the snap, all in the right place, it will only make generate all this for you. So you don't have to edit the, the game list.xml like you do with emulation station. I have a video about how I did that too. Alright, Genesis, console, handheld. Let's try handheld. I got Game Boy Advance that I need to do. This one show 1026, so that sounds pretty right. But it doesn't hurt to go ahead and do it. I mean, it doesn't hurt to go ahead and do it. Because if, you, if you're not sure if the system is catching all the game you put in there, just go ahead and run the program. It's not going to hurt anything. So you just go to uh, Nintendo. Now, if you want to save time, you could just do it all together. Like, I'm, you do Game Boy Advance, and don't exit out. Just continue, do all of them. You know, that way you don't have to go back, go in. The reason I'm going back out and go back in is to show you guys that it does make a difference. That's how you generate the game list. And once you generate it, you know, all the, the game list now, it will show correctly on both the emulation station and plus the arcade track mode side. So that's the reason uh, I missed the track mode because it's easier to do it this way. You don't have to do anything with the game list or edit it or make mistake. You just let the system do it for you. So that's one thing good about uh, track mode. But Virtual Man doesn't want to do it, so I already asked him. He said he's not in the mood doing it. So maybe one day he will change his mind. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching. Just want to FYI show you how to do that. So that way that, you know, with this image, you could add more game. You just need to burn it into a bigger SD card. Unfortunately, it doesn't work on the hard drive. Maybe they will come up with something that will make it work. Because you know, virtual man got it working. So hopefully they could put the new idea in here and make it work. So we could put this wonderful image into a bigger hard drive, and then we could put more game in it. You know. <laughs>